In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about Mario's day in the life, what it looks like, and talk about life on the ship. So we have a first question from a creator that we are going to open up with. Okay. Hey, Bon Beanie, Sandy, and Matt here from the Cruise Geeks YouTube channel, as well as the Cruise Geeks podcast that we do weekly with Tony and Jenny from Walita Loca. We have a question for you, Super Mario. Actually, we have two. My question is, since you get to dive in all these cool places, what is your favorite place you've gone scuba diving in the Caribbean? And Sandy, what's your question? I want to know what the coolest cruise creature that you've seen while diving. Those are our questions. Thanks for letting us ask. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Okay, well, I, I am a very uh, avid scuba diver. I've done many, many dives, probably over 2,000 dives. Uh, I have more dives than cruises, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So uh, my favorite place to dive in the Caribbean is, without a doubt, Cozumel. Mm. Cozumel was made for diving. It was uh, filmed originally. The underwater uh, reefs of Cozumel were actually filmed by Jacques Cousteau many, many, many years ago. And that's how Cozumel became a diving destination. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's got beautiful reefs, beautiful walls, beautiful colors. Uh, it's a drift dive, which means you don't have to do any work. The drift takes you along. It's called lazy diving, <laughs> okay? So uh, it, it is by far the most beautiful place. And uh, the creature, the, my, my favorite creature under the water? Yeah? The shark. Ooh. I love shark diving. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it, I love it. I've done many shark dives with many different types of sharks, species of sharks. And uh, I mean, one of my coolest dives was diving off Costa Rica and there were about, I don't know, like a hundred hammerhead sharks wow. swimming on top of me. I went down maybe 80 feet and I was just navigating and diving. When I looked up, there's 200 hammerhead sharks up there. I'm saying to myself, how am I gonna get out? Wow. <laughs> well, well you, you, you make it out, it's not a problem. Not a you problem. lived here to tell us about it. Yeah, so. not, not a problem. So in the Bahamas, in Nassau, I've done shark, what they call shark feeding dives, mm -hmm. which basically you just lie down on the, on the put your knees on the, on the sandy bottom and watch how the dive master feeds the sharks. It's very cool. And you can film it, you can take pictures. And then, uh, yeah, so that sharks would be my my favorite, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So we have some questions from viewers as well. They want to know kind of like, what is your life like on the ship here? So what time do you start your day? What is, is it pretty life as normal here? Or is there anything different about living on the ship? Well, you have to have a routine. Mm -hmm. I mean, normally you live on land, you have a routine, right? You have a process. You normalize your, your life. You do the same things pretty much in a routine basis because that adds you know, certainty and quality and, and, you know, certainty to your life, right? You don't want to be figuring out what you're going to do every single day. Yeah. On a ship, it's the same way. You want to normalize your life. You want to have a process and, and you want to be very, very consistent. Mm -hmm. So my life is, my typical day is I wake up normally at seven in the morning, quarter to seven, seven in the morning. I set up my office on the pool deck. So I have a little office table on the pool deck. I set up my computer. I get my first cup of coffee, and then once I got set up and everything and drank my first coffee, then I go to breakfast at around maybe 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Okay, and then I have breakfast at, uh, at this very nice place, and then, uh, and then by 9, 9.30, I'm ready to start my day. There you go. So I, I run my business from 9 o'clock until maybe 2.30, 3 o'clock normally. Yeah. So I'm working pretty much until three, mm -hmm. yeah. And many viewers want to know, what is the business that you do and run from the ship? Okay, if I told you, I would have to kill you. Uh-oh. No, no, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I have a very small business, but it's very uh, stimulating. For me, it's extremely stimulating. It's wealth management. I manage money. Mm -hmm. I manage other people's money. And I have very, very f small groups of clients, very small clients with lots of money. So even though it's low volume, it's high dollars. And they pay me well, extremely well, and they're very happy with my services because I give them personalized service. 
and all my all the the running of the business takes place on the pool deck so I'm trading millions of dollars of securities from the pool deck incredible um, incredible isn't it yeah, yeah yeah it really is yeah on a moving cruise ship and uh you know i have to say my clients don't know where i am <laughs> they think i'm in one of those office buildings over there and you know they don't know you live on a ship no no at least no none of them do really they're all my clients are all international clients oh. they're, they're not u.s type clients that that watch your youtube videos <laughs> and all that okay <laughs> if they only knew if they only knew okay and if they, if ever, any one of them wanted to uh, ask me if I thought uh, I could recommend a cruise line for them, I would probably send them to Carnival. Because I don't want them to find out I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's too funny. That's the way it works, Alana. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm running the business normally. That's most of my day. And then at 3 o'clock, I, I shut down. Mm -hmm. Okay, my battery's gone. Yep. Pretty much. And that tells me time to shut down. And then I, uh, I relax, you know, I relax, I stand by the pool, I watch people, people watch, I read a little bit, maybe, catch up with the news of the day. Hang out with your friends on board. I hang out with my friends, socialize. There you you go. know, when I socialize, I socialize with crew and with guests, yeah. both. I mingle with both. And, um, and then I usually take a nap, take a nap, always take a nap at yeah. uh, five o'clock. <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> yeah. Re recharge batteries. <laughs> From your hard day at work. I'm From a hard day at work. You you recharge batteries. So you take a one hour nap. Then at six o'clock, I get refreshed, take a shower, and come up to the suite lounge and uh, have a drink with, with friends. Cocktail hour. Cocktail hour. Happy hour. Yeah. Exactly. Happy hour. And then, um, by the way, at three o'clock, it's usually when I have my little snack. You know my banana or whatever. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about that. We did. I did my my got my snack. That's it. And then seven o'clock. Normally seven o'clock. I'm ready to have dinner. And it's at the Windjammer. Every single night. Wow. No main dining room for me. Oh my goodness. None. And people say, well, how come? I said, well, for several reasons. Number one, it's too noisy. Mm. It's just too too noisy. The dining room, too much noise. Okay, too many people. Uh, too tight. It's mm -hmm. really, really tight. <coughs> and you know what? It's not the best food in the ship. It's not the best food. Oh. To me, being in the dining room, and you guys have done it, is like being in a banquet room. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a convention. Yeah. And they're all serving everybody the same thing, you know, pretty much. So I don't like that setting. I, I like to, I like more relaxed. And then you have to dress to get to the dining room. I like to be in my flip-flops, you know, with my T-shirt. Mm -hmm. So I go to the buffet. I go to the windjammer. I go at whatever time I want, dress the way I want. I get whatever selections of foods I want. Mm -hmm. I choose the table that I want and the people that I want to dine with. And in 45 minutes, it's over. It's over and done with. Dining room, it's at least an hour and a half. Yeah. Or two hours. Yeah, sometimes it can be, it can a, be long, a long, if there's long like a time. show and dancing. And the food, for me, the food in the Windjammer is better than food in the dining room. Better. More selections, more, uh, more options, better. Better. Perfect. Well, I think yeah. this leads us into our next creator question, so we'll okay. jump into that. Hi, Alana and Rafael and Mario, and thanks for having us here today. I gotta tell you, we are super jealous of you, Mario, living on a cruise ship. We would love to do that one day. That's just amazing. I can't even imagine how it must be. That is right. Hopefully we can retire one day and do the same thing you're doing. That is awesome. So listen, we're here to ask a question and we have one question that we wanna know. Mario, the question we have for you is, we know living on a cruise ship is unbelievable and you eat amazingly well on a daily basis. Uh, dining rooms, specialty restaurants, buffets, but is there a restaurant on dry land that you ever miss eating dinner at? Thank you so much, Alana, Raphael, and Mario for having us. And uh, you guys have a great day. And remember, from Sharon, myself, and everyone here at Sharon at Sea, happy cruising. Happy cruising. Okay. The name of the restaurant on land is McDonald's. <laughs> I can't believe it. I really miss McDonald's. I love that, uh, you know. <laughs> 
Big Mac with the fra fries and the mocha frappe. I really miss that. Yeah. But you know, what I do is I, I uh, satisfy my craving for McDonald's on turnaround day. So this morning, when I left the ship at 7 o'clock, guess where I went? McDonald's. I went to McDonald's <laughs> before I went to my home base. <laughs> That's like having your cake and eating it too, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what I did. I went to McDonald's, picked up breakfast, and took it, took it to my home base and uh, just sat there for a while until I got your email. <laughs> I never would have, in a hundred years would have guessed that you would have said McDonald's. That's it. Like, I'm fast food, you see? Yeah? You see? Exactly. He's going to get a kick out of that. Yeah, I think, I think so. I think a lot of people are. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so quickly, what is some of your favorite activities on the ship and we'll wrap up your day in the life? So anything else that we haven't mentioned that you want to add that you that you do throughout the day, or have we have we hit the nail on the head? Okay, well, let me fill in the, the rest of the day. I mean, I'm giving you pretty much what happens, you know, pretty much the whole day from until three o'clock I'm working. Right. I'm running the business. And I'm having fun doing it. I'm really having fun. I mean, I just don't sit there and just look at my screen and everything. I take breaks. Yeah. You know, I look up and uh, yeah, so I do a lot of people watching and somebody, I get up and maybe walk around a little bit. I saw somebody I know on the other side. And then I go get coffee, come up here, get coffee, come back down again. Uh, so I do, you know, do I work in a relaxed way. Yeah. Okay, it's not really, you know, six hours a day, blah, blah, blah. And then, so after that, after all that, I have my favorite shows. Mm. You know, I have my, like I said, I called Mamma Mia was yeah. one of my favorite shows. My other favorite show on the, uh, on the independence is Greece. Ooh. Oh my God, I I've love I've seen Greece. I like Greece. it. Greece, I've seen that yeah, show at least. It's a lot of fun. I've seen it 20 times. Wow. At least. My other favorite show is uh, Saturday Night Fever on the Liberty. Ah, nice. You've seen that? Yeah, no. I haven't seen that one yet. It's just a little bit like Greece. It's a, the musical, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so those are my... Some entertainment to, to keep your evenings going and enjoy Sometimes some I go to Boleros and... Uh, you know, indulge with Latin music, you yeah. know, and sometimes I, you know, pick up a dance or two in, in boleros. I mean, we're lucky to dance. And then I go to, uh, where I do trivias once in a while, very, very oft often, not so often. And what else do I do? Socialize. Uh, yeah, very, I don't do a lot of millennial stuff, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do a lot of stuff. You're not yeah. interested in the water slides? No, not really, no. no. Yeah, we won't catch you on the flow rider either? No, no, yeah. no, no. That, I left that behind. <laughs> I'm in a more relaxed mode now. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Well, I hope that gives you guys a great insight into a day, into Mario's life, ins and outs of what his day living on the cruise ship is like. I hope you'll join us in our next section, which is perks of being a Pinnacle member. So not only is he a Pinnacle member, which is the highest member of Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Society, but he is the top member. So we're gonna talk about some perks of being a Pinnacle member. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more, and Ciao, Ciao for, for now. now.